What's up guys, this is Hotbite 7 RCT I'm bringing you a video follow up of course of this little cut upstairs there Warframe for the Switch um, This is the 30th Well, actually it's more than the 30th day because um, the correct count would be around 35, 36 days but I wanted to mark the 30th day uh, for a simple reason um, Basically there is uh, so much to do in this game, and just with one video, it wouldn't be enough to cover everything. I mean, let's be honest. Right as of right now, I am just hitting the 120 something hours. I'll verify in just a second on um, playtime on the console itself, and I'm barely scratching the surface of this game. I mean, let's be honest. This is I'm, I am a super super new Tenno this world of uh, Warframe, to be honest, and I'm discovering that little by little. The game, however, it has changed my perspective, at least my stance that I had on, on free-to-play games. I have, I'm not converted, I'm not going to be evangelizing free-to-play games over conventional games, not a chance in hell, but there is a place for this, at least as far as I'm concerned. I know a lot of other people I've already embraced the whole system of free to play, um, but Warframe does it very, very different. I know a lot of you guys don't need me to, to know that, because you already know that. The game has been around for a long, long time already. Um, but this video, and probably a follow up video to this, because again, like I said, I'm going to show you some differences that are in the game that I've been able to manage and grind through because that is the main term here grinding but there's so much more to the game so I, i'll probably end up doing another follow up day i don't know day 60 or day 90 who knows but as far as today i am very very invested in the game i have been um, you know with the whole platinum stuff there's many things that you cannot get about platinum cosmetic things of course you can play the game free from beginning to end but it's a grind fest not everybody has the time to invest i am one of those and i confess and i am pretty desperate in, in terms of i like to customize a lot so it is kind of like a, a a setback for me i have to if i want to get nice stuff at least pretty customizable uh, customizable stuff i need to at least put some time in it. I don't, I don't mind at all. I have put some platinum in the game because digital extremes deserve it. You know, this game, this game deserves the accolades. This game deserves to um, have people put money into it. Not crazy, of course, not crazy, but they deserve to get their return and and so much more. And of course, super super props to Panic Button for making the transition to the Switch that much better now uh, a final note before going into the game itself and me stopping you know this blabbering that I'm, I'm going on here and going on and on I would like to uh, have an open message to Nintendo I am a Metroid fan a Metroid freak and I know that Metroid Prime is well on its way but if there is a chance in hell that you would I don't know, somehow, like you did with uh, Zelda and Breath of the Wild, that you mentioned that you had or you drew some inspiration from the Witcher series, please, draw some inspiration from this game into a possible Metroid spin-off because everything that I have ever wanted in Metroid is here, but just with another name. I mean, this whole sci-fi fantasy theme that Warframe has going on has a lot of the Metroid appeal in there. So, you know, just a thought, just throwing it out there, please. If you want inspiration or you want to base uh, uh, some kind of Metroid game, base it on this one. This one is amazing. And if you go for, hopefully not free to play, but if you go to free to play, take a note from this these guys. Don't, don't put items there in DLC and stuff like that that are uh, important for progression, but you know, you know better than that. You've been around uh, than than any of these guys, so you should know better. But please think about it. 
just think about it. In the meantime, let's go in here because I already spent almost six minutes blabbing here. And this today, this video is just uh, basically show and tell. Um, also, I would like to mention a happy holidays to everybody out there. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but it should be around or soon, uh, Christmas Day. Um, so happy holidays to everybody out there. Um, warm uh, season greetings from the team here in RCT. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, and at least, you know, have the basic needs and at least having some kind of fun this Christmas. So, yeah. Of course, I moved a couple of things around in order to, you know, to be able to view things a bit better as you are going to see when I go into the full screen mode. Also, I would like to point out that um, I haven't forgotten about Smash Brothers. I uh, just recently got it in the mail. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, leave that one up to. I didn't get it on launch day, so I. Very, very, very uh, behind because basically everybody at this point has gotten all of the characters out and there's nothing new that I might show on the game, but I am going to cover it anyway. So. It will come with um, my view, a uh, very shortened uh, version, of course, of that view. Um, of course, you know, kind of like um, my year in review of the Switch, at least this year, 2018. It hasn't been as eventful as the 2017 launch year, but it did have some amazing titles like the one I'm playing right now. Um, and it ended with a bang with Smash Bros. Now, I will talk a, a bit more about that in detail here on my next video okay so here we go of course I have my ship themed for the holidays Got the red white and green Christmas theme it also extends to my landing craft now guys, oh my god, I'm not, I'm not gonna, this video is not gonna be very, very long. It's gonna be more like, check my first video, and make comparisons. I have some stuff that I didn't have before, like the relics stuff on the craft. This is relics that you need to get blueprints to construct some very awesome gear. And everything costs at least something. Um, let me go into full screen here so you better appreciate. And actually, you know what? Let me change this. This is one of the very few games, if any games at all, that actually has a very operator PC like the view? Um, graphics uh, options. I mean, they have a whole bunch of effects here. I know that this is also uh, on the console, other consoles as well, but it's amazing seeing it on a Switch game. I'm gonna crank up the contrast just a little bit, just to make things a tad less blurry and more sharp. All right. So first thing is first. I mean, I need to show you guys. Let me go and set this on public. So that way, if I choose a mission, be able to have people join in. As you can see, I have been taking advantage of the double credit weekend. I just had like a hundred uh, thousand credits, and I almost at eight hundred thousand. Um, so that has been really cool of Digital Streams to have that. Let's go. First of all, I think I think at that point I didn't have the foundry, or I didn't have much stuff to do. 
the foundry. But now I have plenty of stuff to look forward to building. I have already built, uh, I think, one or two frames. I think one frame. I have purchased one frame, and I have also gotten another frame through the Twitch Prime offer, which I subscribed in order to get those bonuses. I'm going to be showing that in a minute. And that same arsenal. Now, one thing you're going to see here is I. This is my buddy Excalibur, the one that I started with. As you can see, it's looking much different. It's donning all of the characters here. All of the Warframes that I have so far are donning the RCT colors. You know, the, the whole purple, black, a uh, little bit of blue maybe, and some silver. Um, so, I, I mean, if you guys don't like those colors, I'm sorry for that. But you can customize any way you want the appearance up to a certain point of course this is my main right but I also have a different loadout more basic but you can have up to three slots that you can have customization and switch between them anytime you want so that's that there is a stickler though and it's you don't have too many colors to choose from because see I had to purchase this one Tenno and Twilight and they cost a pretty penny uh, considering they're just colors and the classic one that comes in they only has unlocked this line of colors right here so there's not a lot of variety in that so if you're like me and you like to customize a lot and unexpected you're gonna have to spend some time at the release with my that. sensors are bleeding now Pleased. to show you guys what I have been Earning up in these 30 days of course I've got a variety of weapons uh, some slots because you need to purchase slots that's another thing you need to purchase slots in order to get the weapons that you are going to be grinding for you need the slots because if not you're not you're not gonna be able to use the weapon of course but all of this for some reason I I would be any other game I would be fed up and I would be telling it to fuck off a long time ago, but this game just draws me in. It's a lot of work and a testament to how really the, the gameplay is so good that it keeps me invested, even though it has that very steep grinding hill to climb. Now, the game does make up for it in many ways because it takes away some, but it gives you some in return. Like in the customization department, <clears throat> if you're willing to rank up, of course, put the time and rank up, you're going to get some slots for the Warframes and you're going to get some weapon slots as well. But it also allows you to have different loadouts. Now what the loadouts does is that allows you to have separate, complete files with different Warframes. Like I have them here. I'm a stickler to be, you know, kind of organized and stuff. This is my first loadout, my second one, which has my, I think, one of my favorite top three uh, Warframes so far, Rhino. We ha I have had so much fun with this character. Is in my second loadout. Again, the same thing applies. You can change on the fly the appearances and stuff like that. So. Then next up, and I as I kind of named them to give me an idea so I, I don't get lost and stuff, excuse me. Um, the Prime one, this is the first one that I actually uh, hunkered down and, and purchased with uh, Platinum, just out of curiosity's sake, because I wanted to see what you know what benefits but it does not give you an advantage if you go ahead and, and buy if you have like an excess excess amount of money to throw at the game you're not gonna automatically get the 
the best weapons or the best warframes necessarily. You're gonna start from scratch anyways. You're gonna have to invest even after you purchase them. Invest so um, raise their stats and make them. You know this one right here on Overprime, as as cool as she is, she does not compare to my max level Excalibur, which is the one that I started with. So it's up to me to put the time to make her go up to those standards and even surpass it in time. They all have their different weapons, primary and secondary, and of course a melee uh, weapons as well. Next one up here is what I call forged because this is uh, the loadout that I'm leaving for Warframes or characters that I actually build on Foundry and this is the first one that I built in Foundry which is Volt. I think it's one of the options, the three options that they give you in the beginning of the game. I chose Excalibur so since uh, I got the parts for uh, Volt I built him and now I have him available to use. Again, donning the colors and uh, the Edo armor set, which is pretty cool. Makes them look a little like a samurai. Um, then next up is the Twitch one. And this is the one that I got basically with the uh, promotion uh, when you subscribe to Twitch Prime. Now, to give you an idea of how the character looks, this is the way that the character looks when you get her. Awesome gold uh, black trimmings, I like it a lot, looks amazing. And of course, since it has a prime skin, you can change it and revert her to the regular Trinity, if uh, that's what you like. But once you have the prime one, Tenno, there's no point. a new alert has begun. It um, will be marked on navigation. Let's see what else. I'm gonna leave her with the colors. And then last but not least, this one is the latest one that I acquired, which is Necros. This one is one that I just I just had to have because Regardless of how powerful or whatever, it's just the aesthetics of the character. I needed to have this character because it's closely resembles the things that I really like. You know, the whole uh, Reaper kind of thing. It even reflects with the dual commas that I got for it. So yeah, this one is one badass character. And the abilities and everything reflect that as well. But... If uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go back to my main. My main max out Rhino. Like I said, he's he's just amazing. He's awesome. I got the Lex that I'm trying to rank up, but let's do something. Let's uh, let's get the Vaso Prime, which is one badass and change since I can use this to level up the weapons for Necros should I say with the, the fang or commas let's go with the commas just to show you the weapons in motion and let's change the bore for the Soma Prime Now, before I go into a mission to show you uh, the advancements of the 30 days, of course, what I've done as far as progress is concerned, again, I am not a person who is um, who gravitates a lot to multiplayer games, and this is a multiplayer game, of course. Uh, it is fun, or I have been inching my way into being more social in that aspect. I haven't had the need to do any chat, which I thank God. Um, but I have to say this, aside from my preferences when it comes to multiplayer and stuff, the Tenno community, you know, be it on any platform so far, they have been really, really kind, really nice. I see the messages in the chat all the time, and there's people just 
willing to help and you know and if you're lost they help you out it's not you don't have this hostile environment which is refreshing to say the least now there's one important aspect that I need to cover before I end this video and that is now this is basically the world right here everything you do creates paths to open up to different sectors and they are connected by these junctions these junctions you need to um, basically complete the requirements in order for you to have the chance to go and fight a guardian of that junction and actually make it to another planet in this case earth has a connection to mars it will open up if you complete those requirements and be able to travel to mars and rinse and repeat you have more missions different types of missions but you also have more junctions mars has a junction to ceres on its own requirements which i already did and another one to phobos which i also did allowing me to have Phobos and Ceres in order to be able to play and progress and keep going rinse and repeat until you open up the whole map. Now here in the corner is a dojo. Now the dojo is a very very important thing and a extra challenge for me because I am doing this dojo solo have my clan here which I named um, but so far you know and it's it's understandable you know it's the time of smash and some some other games and stuff and not everyone is gravitating toward the game hopefully soon we'll see my clan growing a bit bigger uh, later on maybe Aaron classic gamer uh, get a chance to get uh, blowing rice on board maybe even um, bad luck and his brother so stay tuned for that to see if anything changes in that front the reason why it's so challenging to deal with the, uh, the dojo ah here's my ship donning the christmas colors of course the dojo is basically a puzzle in itself i'm gonna put up a screen map here you start with a very small square space right here with two doors and every single thing that you want to do you need to put up a set of things of resources uh, most of them very difficult to get you need to have tons of them in order to build now once you do everything is limited Complaining. So far, I have been able to build from this point on those crock cross connectors and stuff, and those rooms that you see there are basically the basic stuff. We need the Oracle in order to build anything at all, and by anything I mean labs and stuff like that. The Tenno Lab. Why you need to do this? Well this is the only way you're going to be able to do research on a whole bunch of weapons warframes items and stuff like that that you won't be able to get anywhere else so of course it's something that you need to get into somehow at some point i did it's been very very difficult because i've been doing all the progress on this side on my own putting my resources my credits alone this is much more doable and much more fun I would guess with a whole bunch of people throwing their resources throwing their credits and making everything much much faster and making it grow much bigger as well this is actually how I was able to build Volt the one that you saw in my in my uh, loadout from Forge and you need to do these in a certain order that's another thing uh, like here I had to start off doing this research right here and some other stuff and it takes real-time time for it to build 
Uh, most of these are either one to three days that you have to wait in real time. So it, it makes you more invested because you know that it's going to take time. Like in real life, everything that's worth building or fighting for, it, it's going to take time. So yeah, this is the Tenno Lab. On this side over here, you are going to die. Now you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Everything costs resources. It costs also forma, which is another thing that is not so easy to come by. Here I finished doing this research, and by doing this basic research, and this is in itself another resource, I get a chance to build. See, like this has a requirement. If I want to build a Dera uh, weapon, I need to have the Prova research as it says up top so that means I need to research this first and as you can see all of these things that you have here are requirements in order to just do the research on this the research time is going to take 72 hours you start the project and then you go and give or donate the required resources that they show right here in order to get it built Again, if you have a group of 5, 10, 15 people, doing this is a matter, you know, it's peanuts. You're going to be able to gather all this stuff much quicker. Since I'm trying to do this solo, it's a lot slower in the process. But nevertheless, it's kind of fun because it gives me, you know, kind of like bragging rights. I, I'm doing this on my own. But hopefully, that'll change soon. Hopefully, um, either I get myself or I convince myself to start recruiting people or I get some of my buddies to join in the clan and so far I've been able to do these labs that allow me to research for more stuff I'm going to be crazy to build and then on this side I put another cross connector you can build these there's a limit I think to 100 rooms or something like that not quite sure yet. And this is, I think, this is the energy reactor or something like that. I have one there and one at the top part of the map. You need to build these rooms because these are kind of like the energy company um, that provides the energy needed to build the things that you want to build. Now you come here, every time you see a red door like this, or red markings in a connection, that means that there's a node available for you to add another room. As you can see at the top part, top right part, how it's changing. See here I have different options. Now as you can see in the um, top right where it says capacity and energy, it tells you how much capacity in square feet let's say just to say something it's going to take up and it says down immediately down from that it says i have 52 available so right now i couldn't do this even if i wanted to i have the energy because i have 26 available and it only takes two but i do not have oh no no actually this this actually works out yeah this adds 200 capacity. I'm sorry. I messed up. I have 52 available and it takes it gives me because these halls they add the capacity So the more halls you add The more space, you know, the more capacity you you get see this one takes away capacity It takes 10 and I have 52, but if I want more capacity, I feel I'm running out I need to just do one of these labs. You gotta forget um, forgive me here for not being quick on these things because again I'm very new there are a lot other videos that will show you the inner workings of this much much better many of those videos I have seen myself because sometimes it's very overwhelming you get lost but for now I think that um, basically covers what I've been up to so far in the game are just a little idea again 
hundred and something hours, which I'm gonna, I told you guys I was gonna verify that. Let me get out of the game here real quick. Now, 135 hours, 135 hours, and I'm still scratching basically the surface because they had there are people you know players that have invested upwards of 3,000 hours into the PC version of the game and the console version you know and they have a slew of things that they have amassed in time I don't know if I'm gonna reach that point but all I can say for now is that it has been very fun I think I'm gonna stick with it for a while hopefully uh, my friends will come in and jump and have fun with me as well if not I can say without a shadow of a doubt that the game has been fun it's been a very good experience um, many thanks for digital experience to you know stick it out and keep at it with the game we started this back I think it was in 2013 or 14 something like that Back at that time, I tried it out for the first time. I liked it, I liked the concept, but it still wasn't fleshed out. I left the game, never went back to it, I even forgot it was in Steam. And even though I do confess that there are times that I do wish I could go back to the PC version just to see everything in 4K and these beautiful graphics, because the graphics are amazing. But the fact that's on the Switch, that I can and it's portable, it just adds, I don't know, I just wanted to have the experience for things here, and I don't regret it at all. You know, if I want to see graphics or whatever and have fun with that, I'll either watch a YouTube video or I'll play the PC version and just, you know, to check out the graphics, but gameplay, this is where it's at. So that's going to be all for now, take you guys later.